A fascinating report today on one of the president's top priorities. The Congressional Budget Office looked at what would happen if the minimum wage was raised to $10.10. The report said that nearly a million people would be lifted from poverty. On the other hand, another half a million would lose their jobs altogether. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill for us tonight. Nancy? Scott, Republicans argued today that this report from the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office is evidence that raising the minimum wage will lead to fewer jobs, something they say the economy just can't afford right now. Democrats and the White House, on the other hand, chose to highlight some of the more favorable aspects of the report, like the fact that 16.5 million Americans would see their wages increase to $10.10 an hour, and higher paid workers could see a bump in their wages, as well as a ripple effect works its way through the economy. The Senate's Democratic leader, Harry Reid, has said he plans to bring a bill to the floor for a vote next month to raise the minimum wage. But even if that bill passes, Scott, it could run into a roadblock in the Republican-led House, where leaders haven't definitively ruled out voting to raise the minimum wage, but they're certainly not enthusiastic about it. We'll keep following it. Nancy, thanks very much.